Live from Madrid, Spain, it's theCUBE. Covering HPE Discover Madrid 2017. Brought to you by Hewlett Packard Enterprise. Welcome back to Madrid, everybody. This is theCUBE, the leader in live tech coverage. We're here day one of HPE Discover Madrid. HP's European show, I'm Dave Vellante with my co-host Peter Burris. Saeed Sayed is here, he's the director of Software Defined and Cloud Group at Hewlett Packard Enterprise, and he's joined by Katrina Mulliken, who is a senior architect and cloud whisperer at Hudson Alpha Institute for Biotech. Folks, welcome to theCUBE, thanks for coming on. Happy Great to be here. Great to be here, thanks. So Sayed, we're very excited about this new developer initiative that you're leading. Um, after the spin merge, a lot of you know, software chops and developer communities went, but Hewlett Packard Enterprise committed to developers, so tell us about this new initiative. Yeah, absolutely. So we are launching this community next week at uh, KubeCon, and it is a pan-HP program which enables uh, all of the different developers that are already out there. We already have thriving communities. Uh, they were just individual and ad hoc, and we have put them under the pan-HP developer community umbrella, where developers can congregate, congregate, congregate with HPE developers and partners, ISVs like Mises Fair and others, and, and talk about how we can fix their problems and they can help us uh, get better at, at what we do. Mm. So Katrina, I think dog whisperer, horse whisperer, they could tame my, my animals, cloud whisperer. Can you help me tame my cloud? What is a cloud whisperer? Sure, <laughs> what I do is wrap my head around all of the different cloud architectures available for both private and public cloud and research those figure out quickly which ones can benefit Hudson Alpha and the type of research that we do with genomics and put all the right pieces together and make a solution out of it that's secure and you know, available 24-7, 365. So tell us a little bit more about Hudson Alpha. So Hudson Alpha is a nonprofit institute. We are an organization of entrepreneurs, scientists, and educators who are applying genomics to everyday life. We collaborate on our five, uh, our 150 acre campus in Huntsville, Alabama with 40 affiliate companies. So it really is a, an effort to come together between scientists and researchers and IT. And you really can't talk about cloud without talking about developers. So from a developer's perspective, what do you want from the guys who are providing infrastructure, hardware, and software? Well, we have turned our IT department into developers and I think that's something that not everyone does, mm. and I think it's an important first step to being able to really leverage the type of infrastructure that HPE offers. We have composable infrastructure in our data center, we have hyper-converged infrastructure, we have storage, we have all these different pieces that we are able to provision automatically and fluidly, rapidly with API, which requires developer mindset right, not your traditional system administration, just keep an eye on a server, it's not like that anymore. And I think it's really important that IT embraces developer practices and DevOps. And we're actually doing that at the hardware level, as well as then, right, you, you prep that foundation so that, your, um, so that your developer teams, your software developer teams can then build on it too. I think this is a crucially important step for virtually every CIO to think about. And let me explain what I mean as quickly as I can. Every CIO says, what am I going to do with my infrastructure people? Analysts like us always say, oh, liberate your people to go solve problems. But having infrastructure people at least start thinking, acting like, imagining like developers is a step that allows you to solve near-term problems and get them on the path to really using a developer mindset or developer problem solving skills that may in fact help the business in other ways in the future. What do you think about that? Right, I think it is asking the um, IT traditional roles to step up and learn a new skill set, which is not easy. It's an investment of time and resources, but well worth the effort. I think if, if you do not do that and expand your skill set, you will not be able to leverage these solutions that are out there or you'll, you'll just be using them kind of out of the box, which they all work out of the box, but is that really what they're capable of doing? So how long did this take to go through this transition at Hudson Alpha? Well, I've been with Hudson Alpha for two years, and from the moment that I arrived, we have a, a very small IT department, just a handful of people, so from the moment that I arrived, we just architect the job description that way. 
right? We write into the job description, welcome to IT, by the way, you're a DevOps software engineer now, you're, you're an infrastructure administrator, you're, you need to understand software-defined networking. All of these pieces are expected, and it can be a lot of work to, <laughs> to learn that on the side, but well worth it. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely, and, and I can tell you, you know, Hudson Alpha obviously is ahead of its time, in terms of uh, things that they're uh, that they're doing, because uh, you know, trying to organize your workforce around software development mindset versus infrastructure administration mindset, it's a huge ordeal. But the way they have done it is uh, is excellent. We're happy to partner with them on this thing. So, so you, how are you going to sort of measure success of this initiative? What, what are your objectives and? What should we be looking for over the next 12, 18 months? Yeah, so our measure of success is how many developers are joining the community and actually active, because you know people can join, but if they're not active, it's not really worth their time, right? So developers getting active on our Slack channels, which we have all you know integrated into our platform, and then on our side, our developers and our R&D guys are actually going to be collaborating directly with our users, the developers, you know, people like Katrina and others. And so measure success is going to be how many problems we're able to solve, how much contribution people like Katrina are going to have on the platform itself, and what type of contribution, what type of API integration we're going to doing. Those are the kind of things we're looking for in short term. How many HP platform, how many number of SDKs, number of blogs, mm -hmm. those kinds of things, right? So those are the kind of analytics that we're going to actually follow through over the next 12 to 18 months. The idea needs to be, every software platform or every software uh, solution that we uh, launch, like OneSphere, um, it will be API driven right from the start. And partner driven and developer centric right from the start. That's, that's our idea of how we measure success here. Okay, we got we to gotta go, but Katrina, we'll give you the last word. What, what are you looking for? How will you measure success of this initiative? Well, success for us are completed projects and and saving lives, I mean, literally that's, that's the wonderful thing about working at Hudson Alpha. It's very measurable in the amount of compute that we can accomplish and storage that we can provision and keep up the environment for the researchers, so. Great, excellent, well have a great rest of uh, Discover. Thanks so much for coming on theCUBE, appreciate you. it. All right, bye -bye. You're welcome, all right, keep it right there everybody. We'll be back with our next guest right after this short break.